Here we go. Return. Whew. So it would appear we have crash landed uh, onto a desert somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I have done a little bit of a look around and I cannot find a single thing, a single person, a village, a villager, anything of the sort. Nothing seems to be around us. We seem to be all alone. So for those who don't remember, our rocket that we used to get to Mars crash landed uh, at the end of last episode. And we are now in the desert. Fuel is leaking everywhere from the engine. Stuff's on fire. Let's just quickly put this out. Flipping, we can't have fire all over the place. The fuel's leaking. We probably need to clean that up at some point. The fire's not going to go away. And we are we are on the verge of death, I believe. We have no food, no water. Well, we have a bit of... No, we have no food or water, except this beef jerky here. Uh, our hot temperature is currently at 38.28 degrees Celsius, which is a bit above uh, what our body temperature should be. And our water levels are dropping by the second. Uh, so we have a quest book, which has, uh, has our five lives in here. We only have five lives. If we lose all five, we die and we just... That's it. Game over. So here we go. It says, hello and welcome. I am IMPA, or to be more precise, the Intelligent Multipurpose Assistant. I am here to aid you and guide you in surviving on this hot, dusty planet. The good news is, you seem to have survived the crash landing fine. The bad news is, the shuttle most certainly did not. You are stuck here for the foreseeable future. Speaking of which, you might want to start setting up camp, gathering what resources and supplies are left in the wreck, and seeing about finding water. It's mighty dry out here. So, we have ourselves two fluid transposers and a bunch of other random stuff, <laughs> including the quest delivery system, which we can just throw down like here. A crafting station, we can throw that on top of it. We have ourselves a sieve, uh, a needle gun, which I assume we're going to use for some form of self-defense somewhere along the way. Uh, an open blocks book, materials in you, a few spare quest books. We have a world domination with open blocks book, some beef jerky, a crescent hammer, and two leadstone flux capacitors. So what is the first quest? We have basic survival. As you can see here at the bottom, we have getting back to the moon because, of course, our whole goal is to get back to the moon. And then I believe we can use the miscraft book on the moon to return to our old tech it base and continue on from there. But until then, we need to get back. We need to get back up to that level. And at the moment, we're just not there. We don't have anywhere near the resources we need to get that stuff. So we should probably start. So we have uh, gathering some supplies. Well, that's a mess. Grab what you can from the wreck and watch out for the detached engine. The core has been breaching, uh, has been breached and fuel is leaking. So the first quest here is a manual detect quest and we have to have two fluid transposers, which believe it or not, we have them just here. So we can go like that, claim reward, and we get ourselves a camel pack with some cold water bottles and some normal water bottles. So we'll throw these back down. We don't really need them on us just yet. Can we use this anywhere? We can put it on ourselves. I'm not too, can we like craft it together? We have heat stroke. Um, oh, look, we can. Chisel. Let's fill this up. I don't know how this works, but we'll fill it up with water. There we go. Look, it's filled with water. Is that going to like slowly fill us back up with water? Is it going to... It is as well. It's going to slowly hydrate us. That's kind of cool. So a big thing in this mod pack is hydration. Our water levels are at the bottom left there. And if we run too low on water, we will start to die. We'll start to dehydrate. We get heat stroke, which thankfully at the minute has disappeared. But uh, we don't want to get that. That's not where we want to be. So we've done the first quest. We've claimed the reward. Now we have two options. We can either go the easy route or the hard route. And for anyone who's known me for any amount of time, we like a challenge. So we're going to go with the easy route. Here we go. Select task. There we go. We need a piece of dirt. We'll get rid of it. We'll grab this guy. Grab some dust. 
And we're going to claim the easy route. There we go. Manual submit. So we get an oak sapling. So we can grow some wood. We can get, we could start with ex nihilo and all that good stuff. We get some needle gun ammo, some bone meal, some PB and J sandwiches, um, a shell constructor, which seems to be invisible. Is that invisible? Oh, no, it's not invisible in here. But we have a shell constructor and a bunch of other stuff as well. So we'll keep all of the water bottles because I think they're going to be useful. Uh, don't really need the energy cell just yet. And I think we are going to need the bone meal, though. So we'll keep hold of that and we'll keep hold of the saplings. All right, what else? What other quests do we have? Let's have a look. The very basics. Okay, so we need to get ourselves some dust, some bone meal, and a bottle of water. Now, I believe that bone meal is one of the uh, products we can get by sifting through dust. So if we just quickly pick some of this stuff up and press U, it'll tell us, yeah, look, we can get stones, which, ooh, there's a 20% chance of getting stones. That's actually really useful. So <laughs> if we just uh, sieve this through here, if we've got a 20% a chance of getting stones, that means we can get some cobblestone pretty early and means we can start getting some stone and doing some real uh, advanced stuff, unlike in Agrarian Skies where the only way to get stone was to go through dirt. So that could be pretty useful. Did we get any bone meal? We did. So, we should now be able to hand in this quest. There we go. Claim our reward. We got a piece of dirt, some bone meal to add to the bone we already had, and a bunch of other stuff. So, I'm going to stick this down. I'm going to put down the sapling. I think what I'm going to do... Actually, yeah, let's make a shovel. So, we'll, we'll bone meal this up. There we go. And what we could do with early on... Actually, let's get one... Well, let's get a crook. A crook would be a great way to start because that means we can get more saplings from our leaves and we have a chance of getting a silkworm. Now, I'm kind of wanting to get a silkworm before night falls because if we can, that means we can start getting some string, hopefully get some wool. And if we can get three wool before nighttime, it means that we can sleep through the night. Otherwise, we're just going to kind of have to like barricade ourselves in and try not to die of uh, dehydration overnight, which I kind of don't want to do. So let's make some sticks. Let's get a crook like that we'll make some more sticks and see if we can get ourselves a shovel and we could look at an axe as well whilst we're at it so we'll grab one of you and we'll also grab an axe so we'll grab you you we'll throw these on our hotbar there we go with the crook there we go all right let's grab some of this stuff come on silkworm i could use a silkworm please I did not get a silkworm. All right, that's fine. We, uh, I'm, hopefully we'll get one at some point. Uh, it would be rather annoying if we didn't get one. So we'll try again. Please? Silkworms? Any of you there? I would very much so like a silkworm. Really? Seriously, no silkworms. Is this how we're going to play it? <laughs> okay. Well, no look there again, but we can use our access time to cut this tree down. So hopefully it should be a bit faster. Uh, what? What? One out, really? One out of one? And it's not even... It's not even that much faster. Oh, geez, that's a pain. That's a real pain. All right, so at least we're 99.3% water, but it looks like we're running out now. We do have a little bit left uh, in our camel pack, but we'll go again. Come on, we, we really do need some uh, some silkworms. It would be very nice to have some. So we'll try again. Our crook is almost dead, though, so we'll probably have to go again. Ooh, we got an apple. That's nice. Okay, let's get another crook. Let's just, let's just get two. Might as well do. We're almost definitely going to need two. <laughs> so we'll go through this. And then we should probably actually have a look at the quest book and see what the next set of quests is. Uh, especially if we don't get another silkworm. Really? No. Oh my gosh. It's getting too dark. It's getting dark. <laughs> We're going to have to go inside. Which I really don't want to do because I really wanted a silkworm. Come on now. Just, just, just the one. As soon as mob starts to spawn, we're going to have to go inside and barricade ourselves up because... We cannot survive out here through the night with uh, with no no bed, no guns, no weapon, no armor. Uh, actually, we should probably, instead of going through the tree, we should probably grab some dust. As much dust as we can so we can start sieving through stuff. And, and hopefully start to make some, get some work done uh, over, like, throughout the night whilst, uh, whilst we're just trying to outlive everybody else. Actually, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm going to make a little fort, if I can. Uh, is this going to work? Do we have enough stuff at all to make a fort? I just want to be able to access the, um, the, 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 the dust. 
Here we go. This looks horrible, but there we go. We are we're safe-ish, I think. We'll, we'll block all those off. There we go. All I want to be able to do is just continue to, uh, to, to dig down through here. Because as long as I can dig down through here, we can continue to get dust and stuff. So we're on level 63. So there is quite a bit of, of dust between us. And hopefully... Oh, gosh. That's not good. <laughs> okay, we're going to have to continue on uh, building stuff up like that as we go. But it means we, continue, we can continue to get dust throughout the night. Because I had a little bit of a tinker around with this before. And uh, I just sort of like sat down throughout the night and nothing really happened. So... Let's, uh, let's sift through some dust. Hopefully, we can get ourselves a bunch of cool stuff. And hopefully, we can get enough stones to actually make something. That would be very nice. Okay. So, I can hear mobs outside already. Hopefully, by the time morning comes, there should be just a bunch of, like, stuff on the floor outside that we can go pick up. Like, a bunch of uh, string from the spiders that have burnt. That we, well, we can kill the spiders in the morning when they're not attacking us. But we can go and we can attack the... Uh, we can pick up the skeleton bones, any zombie brains, all that good stuff. And, oh, look, we're getting some very nice things. Uh, what we could really use, though, is stones. As soon as we get enough stones, like, we've got two, and I think we can make... We have Tinker's Construct, don't we? Yes, I think we can get a slab furnace, which is eight cobblestone slabs. And three... So we need... We need oh, we need a lot of pieces of cobblestone here. We, <laughs> we need an awful lot of cobblestone here. Hopefully, we can get some by sieving through here, though. That would be rather nice. I think we just got some redstone and some surface quartz, which is kind of cool. One more little stone, and we should be able to make ourselves a piece of cobblestone. There we go. All right, so now we can make ourselves one of these. Oh, good, good. All right. We've got one. One down, five more to go. So we do need five of those. Uh, in the meantime, whilst we're waiting for that, what we can do, I think, is make ourselves a barrel, uh, an ex nihilo barrel. I think we have enough just to do something like this and get ourselves an ex nihilo barrel which will let us throw we'll throw this down here and what we could do is we can throw eight saplings in like this and then uh now whale at the top there is now actually compatible with ex nihilo and we can see there it's 12 percent, 13 percent. when that gets to 100 we will have ourselves a second piece of dirt which is pretty flipping cool so this camel pack is actually holding up really well i actually quite like that and we have not managed to we're still quite high on water which i like so we'll continue on with this and hopefully we should be able to get ourselves some cobblestone and survive through the night uh, i'll finish up doing these eight and then i'll have a look in the quest book and see what's uh, next up on the list oh look at that. there's actually a thing at the top there telling me how far i am with the uh with the dust as well that's kind of cool we got an egg oh my god we got an egg i didn't know eggs were a thing that we could get from sieving through uh sieving through this stuff what else can we get oh yeah look there eggs a one percent chance of getting an egg a uh, fish would be nice. I, I wouldn't say no to a fish. I'm, I'm in the mood for some fish. Here we go. Two. One. Come on. One more, one more piece of stone. One more little stone. One more stone, please. We've got three. One more would be nice. No. No, no stone. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's get rid of some of this stuff that we can't really use yet. We can't really use any of these metals uh, or the yellow eye or the... Oh, we need, we need a flipping... We need a chest. We're out, we're out of space. Um, which is not good because we can't really do anything until tomorrow morning. So, let's have a quick look at the quest book and see what else is in store. So, we've got uh, saplings. Uh, sapping the saplings. I found a way to get water. If you drop saplings in the liquid transposer, you will get a little bit of water out of them. One tenth of a bucket. Remember, you can power the fluid transposer with flux capacitors in an emergency. Um, in the emergency supplies chest. Make sure you do not use up all your saplings. Uh, I'm not quite sure. Oh, we could, I didn't even know that. I didn't know you could put uh, flux capacitors in there. That's kind of cool. But uh, so what we can do is we can turn ten saplings into uh, into a bu uh, into one bucket's worth of water, which is pretty flipping cool actually. So if we can get that working, then it means we'll have something else to drink for at least for a little while, which is kind of nice. And apparently we need a QDS system, so we'd have to just take away what we could do is we here and in order to do that quest, get rid of you. Pick up this guy. Uh, we don't have a pick. Can we just break it? Oh, we can. Nice. Pick up this guy and throw him down here. And if that's an output, we want it to go that way, don't we? So we'll have the yellow going out that way. Yeah. I think that should work. So if we put ten, if we can get ten saplings and put ten saplings in there now, that should. Uh, if we just manually do this, select task, plunk. So now this is selected on the sapping the saplings quest. So as soon as day rises, what we'll do is we'll go out, we'll get some more saplings. And once we've got like at least 11, we can come in, we can throw a 10 in here, and we should be good to go. Now what we can also do real quick is we can grab this guy, put him down there, make this side an output. 
and that should start to fill up the energy in the uh, fluid transposer so that we can start to so we can actually use it instead of having to use our flux capacitors so we'll let that do that thing and that should be enough yeah that's fine that's fine i don't i don't imagine it's going to use that much power to, to fill this thing up let's let's fill up our, our camel tank thing because the last thing we want to do is run out of water uh, i think cold water does a better a better job of, uh, of keeping you going but we're just going to use our normal water for now like this there we go we'll put this back on and i think we should be okay now <laughs> ah! <laughs> at least a little bit anyway uh we got some pb and j can we eat one of these Oh, we can. Nice. Okay. Oh, we've just got a lot of flashing stuff. I'm just going to eat a PB and J, and hopefully that fills me. Up. Okay, I got two minutes of welfare. That's nice. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. I'm not too sure how it's looking outside. Still very dark. Okay, let's cover that back up, and we might as well go down and get some more. Get some more stuff. Um, now how do I want to do this? Because as soon as I, as soon as I break this, that's going to fall. Like that. Okay, that's fine though. We can just do this. Get some more of this stuff. And then see if we can get some more stone from this guy. Because as soon as we get some cobblestone, we're pretty much... We're, 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 in, we're in a lot better state as soon as we've got enough cobblestone to make a furnace. Because then we can start cooking stuff up. We can start doing a bunch of other stuff. And I believe one of the quests actually helps us with this. So there's there's a task called Drinking Mud where the player is has to handing an item of fluid. So what we've got to do is get some dirty water. Now I think... If I'm not mistaken, we could take this dirt, combine it with an empty bottle of water, and get ourselves some dirty water. Okay. And then we'll manually submit, claim reward. We got our dirt back, and we got ourselves another bottle of water, which is quite nice. And what else do we have? Tools for upgrading. Okay. So a stone hammer. We could actually make a stone hammer right now if we wanted to. The stone hammer is just two pieces of cobblestone. But I'm not sure if we really want it. The reward, all we get to four, we get, we get this pattern here. And, uh, and one of these from down here. A heart canister could be quite nice, actually. But I don't think we're going to really go for this just yet. I want to save the cobblestone and go for it later. We have over here desperate times. And this is, we've got salt and then rotten flesh. I don't remember doing salt, but okay. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. What does that say? Uh, you, see all, you see the dust all around you. Well, I'm reading high concentrations of salt. I'm positive you can get enough uh, useful amounts just by doing a little sifting. Ah, oh, so we just have to get the salt. All right. Rotten flesh. Uh, what do we just have to do? Did you get one zombie brain? Okay, um, well, okay, uh, I'm just gonna wait for, till morning because I kind of don't want to go out there and fight these guys. Uh, we could probably get rid of this block. Uh, it is almost daytime though, that's, that's kind of cool. This guy's gonna come over and attack us. Can we do anything with this egg? We can make a golden egg <laughs> for whatever reason. Uh, you can do a bunch of other stuff, but no, I think we might just try to throw it and see what happens. Um, daytime is dawning, and these guys are about to start burning, which is good. I don't want to be here, uh, for too long when they're not burning. Uh, we'll continue with this, and then we can go outside and cut down our tree. We could try to get some more silkworms. We'll, uh, we'll make, we'll continue to, I'll probably continue to sieve, uh, between this episode and next, because you don't really need me to sit here and sieve for, like, a billion episodes long. So, I'll get rid of, I can actually dig this out, because there's stuff above this. We'll see if we can get ourselves a third stone. That'll get us enough for uh, some slabs. Not quite enough, but some. And oh my god, I can hear the zombies burning. Jeez, that is loud zombies burning. Ooh, we got some cool stuff there, I think. Nope. <laughs> I don't know. We're getting a lot of dust. I like dust, but we're getting a lot of it. And last one. Do we have enough stone to make a third piece of cobblestone? We do. Nice. So, kaplunk. Grab you. Throw you in there. And nice. So we've got three pieces of cobblestone, which is kind of cool. Let's head on outside. So I can see some creepers. Now, I think, if I'm not mistaken, what we can do is grab one of these needle gun ammo things. We can fill this up. And then I think we can go and shoot some mobs down with our needle gun. Now, I'm not sure if this is the best way to do it ever, but I think it is a possible way. Yep. Don't die. Don't die. Do not. I'm going to die. There we go, I died. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a pain. What the heck? Why do we spawn so far away? Jeez, we were close. We were, we died once. Okay, we'll grab some string. Grab some of this. If this guy blows up, that's actually quite good because it means we can grab all the dirt from around him. Oh, flipping, flipping things not on. We can't grab the dirt from around him. 
which is quite nice, actually. It means anything we build, he's not going to be able to blow up. So the good news is we have gravestones from open blocks, so we can just pick up all our stuff like this. There we go. We can put our camel hump back on so we don't die of thirst. And it looks like we're kind of good to go. So we should be able to hand in the quest for zombie brains. There we go. Desperate measures, zombie jerky. We have to make some zombie jerky? I think we do. Now, I believe zombie jerky is made with um, two zombie brains and something else. Zombie jerky. Uh, it's two salt and two uh, and a zombie. Is it two salt and a zombie brain? Was that it? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's zombie jerky. And this thing we can eat, but <laughs> it's desperate times. Is that everything? It is. Okay, so we can claim our reward of more zombie jerky. Uh, I have a feeling this might poison us a little bit, so I'm going to I'm gonna hold off on eating that just yet. Let's throw down another tree, and we'll try kill a, a few birds we want stone here. We'll, uh, we'll try and get some more uh, silkworms. We'll also try and get some more saplings so we can get that bucket of water. And we'll try get ourselves some... I can't, and we'll get a chest with all the wood as well, which is kind of cool. So we'll do that. I'm not going to finish that off yet because we need to use our, our crook. Here we go. Grab all these guys. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Come on. Give me, a, give me a flipping silkworm. All I want for Christmas is a silkworm. Seriously. Seriously, no silkworm. We've got two string, which is kind of a little bit. Not enough, really. Uh, I might use my nail gun to shoot down the spider to see if we can get a few more. It always looks really dark on the minimap. I'm just looking at the minimap. Okay, okay. Hands on. Fist time. Fisty time. We're going to fight this spider on our own. Here we go. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Whew. <laughs> okay, that totally wasn't worth it because he didn't even drop anything. But, jeez. Okay, let's try the zombie jerk it. Oh, it gives us well fed. So basically, we just mix zombie jerky with... Is it getting dark already? Or is the sun just gone? If it's getting dark already, that's just mean. Let's get rid of you. Let's try this again. Come on. Let's see if we get a chicken. Actually, I don't want to see if we get a chicken just yet. Because I'd like to be able to keep the chicken somewhere. So we can, like, track its eggs and stuff. Uh, okay. Oh, gosh. There's uh, a lot of leaves. Hopefully, a lot of leaves means a silkworm. Because if it doesn't, I'll be rather annoyed. This is like our fifth tree now. And we don't have a silkworm. All I want is a silkworm. That's all I, all I ask. Is is one silkworm, guys. There we go. Look at that. So, it's, was that so hard, Mr. Mr. Crook Tree Man? Was, was that so hard to give me a silkworm? Not really. Okay. We'll finish this guy off. And then the next tree that we place down, we will infect with our silkworm. We got two silkworms in one that time. We'll infect with our silkworm. And then we should hopefully be able to get ourselves some string before... Night falls and hopefully we'll be able to sleep through the night. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Uh, if not, then it's going to be another night of us just sitting around flipping, sieving through dust. All right, here we go. We will bone meal you up. We will infect you with our silkworm. Uh, I'll use two just to make this a bit faster. And then while it's doing that, let's throw 10 of our saplings into here. To squeeze the water out of them. And that should go straight into the QDS. Oh, we get sticks as well. That's kind of cool. Uh, so that's going to do that. Uh, what else do we have on this quest list? Uh, oh, look at this. Even more desperate. <laughs> oh, we can eat silkworms if we cook them up enough. Um, so we can't do that yet until we have our furnace. Uh, so we've got cooking utensils, a bunch of stuff we can cook up. Again, I think all of this comes after we have our cobblestone. Uh, we've got upgrade tools. Uh, we're doing the sapling quest right about now. Uh, these are all backstory stuff. You can uh, look at those if you'd like. And I think we are we're pretty much good to go on most parts. Uh, this is still doing its thing. And how, how are we doing on this? A few more. Uh, let's have a look. Once we get... Uh, let's get some more... Actually, while I'm out here, yeah. Let's get some more uh, of this stuff. Let me actually type in shovel. I wonder if any of the shovels actually do anything good. One out of one. One out of one. What? Wow, really? <laughs> All right. Okay. Yes, yeah, so They 100% want us to use Tinker's stuff. Because if we... Right. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, so we're going to have to um, very quickly adapt to using Tinker's Construct because the vanilla tools, although they're there and although they are craftable, they are 100% just a massive waste of resources because they do absolutely nothing. And uh, yeah, so even if we got ourselves a diamond shovel, it would, it would do nothing. Let me just turn off that waypoint. We did die, which means we are on four lives now. So we've one down, three to go, uh, four to go. Uh, how are you doing? That is done. Quest complete. Good stuff. What do we get? Uh, we got ourselves... Uh, two more bottles of water. Nice.
Claim claim your ward. Can I um claim that reward, maybe? Did I get the reward? Oh no, I don't have enough space. Okay. Uh, we need a chest. Let me get a chest. We'll get a double chest because we're we're rebels. Here we go. Double chest. Kaplunk. We'll throw this down like uh here. Can I open that? I can, okay. Let's just dump all the dust and stuff that we've got into here. Uh, like you, 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 our egg, uh, our fluid transposer for now, and now we should be able to collect our reward. There we go. Okay, we'll quickly fill up our camel pack, and then I think we are pretty much uh, done with what we can do for now. So we'll throw you in there, we'll throw you in there. I'm not going to use the last one. Actually, yeah, I will. Uh, we'll put you in there as well. And Kaplong. Okay, so this is looking good. This is looking good. It's looking promising. We should be almost there on that. We've got ourselves. I think we've done quite well. We've managed to survive. Well, I say survive. We did die once. We managed to survive a little bit. I am not sure whether or not any of these quests actually have uh, hearts as rewards because we've only got four lives left. I hope they do. If not, then we could uh, we could be out very very quickly. But uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We've got ourselves three pieces of cobblestone. What I'm going to do between this episode and next is, is sit here and do a bunch of sieving through uh, through this guy. What we'll probably do next episode is start looking at some Tinker's Construct stuff so that we can uh, get shoveling and get uh, like cutting stuff down a lot faster because that will save us a ton of time. Uh, I'm hopefully going to be able to make a bed real quick before night falls and before the end of this episode. And yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, do we have what open quests do we have? I'm not sure what quest is going to unlock under pressure or the next set of quests uh, It could be after tool upgrades or yeah, I'm thinking it's probably going to go after tool upgrades, isn't it? Uh, we don't have any bones, which is a shame. I don't think we can use bone meals to make bones, can we? No, we can't um, We don't there doesn't seem to be anything still left out here, which is kind of a shame uh, So we're probably going to have to fight some uh, some skeletons at some point. Do we get string? Uh, no string no string. String. So we can use this to make ourselves a piece of wool. Now we just need two more pieces of wool from the rest of this tree. And we should be able to make ourselves a bed. Whilst we're waiting for that, let's just continue to sieve. Because who doesn't love sieving? So I I, I do think we also have uh, some water around here, if I didn't, if I saw it correctly. There is some water. If I'm, I do think as well, you can actually just, can you just do this? Yeah, you can. What's the... Uh, Oh, that gets us salt water. What does salt water do? We could smelt salt water into salt, which is kind of cool. So we could just sit here. But does that... I think that gets rid of the bottle, doesn't it? Yeah, that probably gets rid of the bottle, which is probably the downside to that. Do we get enough, any more string? Uh, that's five... Six, seven, eight. Nice. Okay, we can make ourselves a bed. Come over here and two more of you. With three of you. Voila! We have ourselves a bed. We can sleep through the night, and we don't have to just carry away in our little <laughs> horribly constructed fort over here. So, guys, I think I'm going to call it there. Like I said, I'm going to sit here and sieve uh, for most of the uh, for until next episode. Try and get ourselves enough to make ourselves a slab furnace. And next episode, we'll start looking at some Tinker's Construct stuff and see if we can continue to survive after crash landing uh, on the crash landing mod pack. It's on the Feed the Beast launch. You can go download it under the third parties tab. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. You guys are awesome. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to like, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.